everyone. Welcome back to Doodling Through Education. Today we have a science video and this video correlates with the CC Cycle 3 Week 8 Science Memory Work. For everyone else, that just means that we are talking about our circulatory system. Now, I wanted to remind you before we get started to go ahead and subscribe to Doodling Through Education if you haven't already. That way you never miss an episode from this channel. I also wanted to draw your attention to a link through Buy Me A Coffee. If you want to support Doodling Through Education, you can do so through that link. And I posted that in the description. Without further ado, let's start doodling. The first part of your circulatory system that we're going to talk about today is your heart. We've talked briefly about your heart already in terms of it being a muscle and more specifically the cardiac muscle, but today we're going to talk about how that relates to the circulatory system. Your heart is a muscle and its main job is to pump blood around your body to provide it with the oxygen and even nutrients that it needs. Your heart has four chambers, two on the top that are called atria and two on the bottom that are called ventricles. The atria fill with blood returning to the heart from the body and the lungs, and the ventricles pump out the blood to the body and the lungs. The right side of your heart receives blood from the body and then pumps it to the lungs. The left side of your heart receives blood from the lungs and pumps it out to the body. Running down the middle of the heart is a thick wall of muscle called the septum. The septum's job is to separate the left side and the right side of the heart. This brings us to the blood vessels, which are called arteries and veins. These are tubes that are attached to the heart that the blood moves around your body through. The blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart are called arteries. The blood vessels that carry blood back to the heart are called veins. So arteries typically carry oxygenated blood to the body and veins typically carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. There are a few exceptions to this, but this is generally the rule. The arteries eventually divide down into the smallest blood vessel, which brings us to the next part of our circulatory system, and these are the capillaries. Capillaries are so small that blood cells can only move through them one at a time. This is where oxygen and food nutrients pass from the blood to the cells. Capillaries are also connected to veins, so waste from the cells can even be transferred to the blood. And that brings us to your blood. Your blood is made of several different components, the first being red blood cells. Red blood cells are oval with an indent in the middle. They have a protein called hemoglobin, which carries oxygen from the lungs. A red blood cell can live for four months before being replaced by new blood cells made in the bone marrow. Next are white blood cells. White blood cells help in the immune system. Different types of white blood cells fight germs such as bacteria and viruses, and others make antibodies, which are special proteins that recognize anything foreign and help the body get rid of it. Blood contains far fewer white blood cells than red blood cells, but when you are sick or have an infection, your body can produce more white blood cells to fight this off. 
Next are our platelets. And these are tiny cells that help in the clotting process. When a blood vessel breaks, platelets gather in the area and help seal off the leak. Platelets work with proteins called clotting factors to control bleeding inside our bodies and on our skin. Platelets actually only survive about nine days in the bloodstream and are consistently being replaced by new platelets which are made in the bone marrow. And that is all we have for today regarding your circulatory system. As always, talk with your friends on community day or perhaps your parents or your siblings about the importance of the circulatory system and some of the functions that it helps with in your body. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.